Welcome to iLecture Online. Here's another very interesting view request video on thermodynamics and in particular they're asking us to find the efficiency of a cyclic process but what's unusual about this problem is that normally we have a P versus v, v diagram a pressure versus volume diagram in this case we have a T versus S diagram a temperature versus entropy diagram so that's quite different you can clearly see that we have a cyclic process and we have heat flowing in and out of the system we just don't know which is which yet Q1, Q2 or Q3 so first let's find out what is the efficiency of an engine? Well, it turns out the efficiency is equal to the work done divided by the heat provided, the Q sub hot, the heat provided by the hot reservoir. And then by definition, we know that work done is equal to Q hot minus Q cold divided by Q hot. So in essence, we're supposed to find Q hot and Q cold to find the efficiency. So how do we do that on that particular diagram? Well, now we also have to go to the definition of the change in entropy. We know that the change in entropy is equal to, well, the heat added or taken away from the gas divided by the temperature over which this happens. And we could also take the average temperature if the temperature changes during that process. All right, so let's see here. We have three processes. We have Q1, Q2, and Q3. Together, they form a, a cyclic process. And, hmm, let's see here. Let's go for Q is equal to T times delta S. So what we can do is we can calculate Q1, Q2, and Q3 by calculating it like this. The temperature times the change in entropy. So here we have Q1. Let's try with, start with Q1. That is equal to the temperature at which it happens. Now notice it goes from 2T sub naught to T sub naught. So the average temperature, so we can go ahead and we take the average temperature, especially because there's a linear relationship between the temperature and the entropy. So we can say T average times the change in entropy. So this is equal to 2T sub naught plus T sub naught divided by 2. That's the average temperature over the process Q1. And delta S well, that's a change in entropy. We go from S sub naught to 2 S sub naught, so that would be 2 S sub naught minus S sub naught. So we can see here that Q1 is equal to, now is heat added or heat taken away? Well, if the entropy increases, see here, is that Q1, is that heat added to the process or is that heat taken away from the process? Well, that's at the highest temperature that it's that is happening, that means that heat is added to the process, it's a pos positive Q. And we can clearly see that when we calculate it here, we have 3 T sub naught divided by 2, which is 3 over 2 T sub naught, multiplied times 2 S minus S sub naught, that is just simply S sub naught. So essentially, it's 3 over 2 T sub naught S sub naught. So that's Q1, and that is going to be Q hot because it's the heat added to the system because we have a positive quantity there. Now let's look for Q2. So here we have Q2 which is equal to again the temperature which it happens times the change in the entropy. So in this case that is T sub naught and the change in entropy goes from 2 S sub naught to S sub naught. So that's S sub naught minus 2 S sub naught and so you can clearly see that's a negative quantity. That means that's heat, <coughs> excuse me, that's heat removed from the system. So it's going to be equal to minus T sub naught S sub naught. So that's Q2, and that would be Q cold. So we have Q cold, and we have Q hot. Now we have one more, Q3. Now Q3 is also interesting. Q3, because that's going to be equal to the temperature times the change in S. And again, the temperature would be the average temperature, because the temperature changes. That would be equal to 2 T sub naught plus T sub naught divided by 2. That's the average temperature. But notice, delta S, in this case, is going to be zero. There's no change in entropy. So therefore, if there's no change in entropy, then Q3 must equal zero. So now we have established Q1, Q2, and Q3. Only Q1 and Q2 have an e represent the heat exchange. This is heat added to the gas. This is heat taken away from the gas. 
Q hot, Q cold. Q3 is zero because there's no change in entropy. And now finally, we can calculate the efficiency. The efficiency is going to be equal to Q hot, and Q hot is determined to be 3 over 2 Ts. So 3 over 2. Um, where am I here? Oh, I'm, I'm on, the wrong, on the wrong equation here. Let me see here. So let's go ahead and do that. That way we don't get confused. So this is equal to Q hot, which is 3 over 2 T sub naught S sub naught minus Q cold, which is, well, okay, here we have to be careful because it is heat ejected. So therefore, we need to take the positive quantity from the Q2 and we're subtracting it. So it's going to be minus T sub naught S sub naught divided by Q hot, which is 3 over 2 T sub naught S sub naught. All right. So for efficiency then, let's go over here. Efficiency, it's 3 over 2 minus 1. That would be 1 over 2. So we end up with 1 over 2 T sub naught S sub naught divided by 3 over 2 T sub naught S sub naught. So the T sub naught S sub naught cancels out. That would be 1 half times 2 over 3, which is 1 third, which is 33%. So the efficiency of that particular engine is 33%. Basically, we use the very same equation we normally use for efficiency. We just have to figure out what Q hot and Q cold are based on the relationship between Q, temperature, and the change in entropy. And that is how it's done. Well, this graph is unique it, in that it represents a similar process. It doesn't matter what the process is. It's how we want to present it. So typically, in a, in a thermodynamic process, we have something where we have pressure versus volume. And so there's some sort of cyclic process. And we calculate the efficiency from that in the same respect that it's worked on divided by the uh, heat added to the gas. But in this case, we're not given pressure and volume, we're given temperature and the change in entropy. And so we have to go to this concept to find Q to plug it into our equation there. So that's the difference.